everybody it's me again I'm going to draw a picture for you all today I'm a painter. and this is what I'm drawing today I'm gonna attempt to draw this cute little girl Mm, this canvas is a little rough. I was wondering if any of you all had any dreams about your, like, anybody you've loved in the past. Lately I've been having weird dreams. I used to, uh, mess around with this boy when I was younger. At the time, he was 20 and I was 17. And I fell in love with him. And it's the boy that I've been dreaming about. He's been popping up in a couple of my dreams and it's been kind of depressing in a way because he moved out of state in um, 2009 and I haven't been able to see him in years. I don't know how he's doing, what he's been doing, what he's been up to. And I just wanted to stay friends, you know? Um, in 2009, most of y'all know I had my son, Christopher. And I, uh, kept in contact with this man, I guess, at the time he was a man, um, for several years after me and him, um, separated and went our own ways, uh, He, uh, I had an old cell phone, and he kept, he got my number, and we contacted each other a lot when I was with Christopher's real dad, and time went on. As soon as Christopher was born... That's when I lost contact with him. And 
that's when I met Jeffrey, my husband now. been quite a long time since I was able to, you know, get a hold of him and talk to him because he was there when nobody else was. He was there when I was taking one of my ex's abuses, you know. His name, ironically, is Christopher. I named my son after my ex lover because I still had feelings for him. And probably have them today still too. If I'm having weird dreams about him. Why do I keep doing that? Shaping weird, but and I just keep having these weird dreams about him. I'm gonna relocate her chin. That's better. These dreams, they consist of me hanging out with him and the usual having fun and doing my own thing with like a really close friend and I'm, I miss my friend because that's what we became afterward um before Christopher was born he and I were contacting each other and in that period of time he offered to buy me tickets to go to the state that he lives in um he moved to I think it was Indiana and he he went there to do like a music gigs and stuff and to this day I still can't find him but he called he called me and offered me tickets to go fly fly there and live with him and be happy for once. Miss my friends. I don't have many. Once my husband hears my conversation to you all, he won't understand either. Hold on, guys. I'm changing batteries. Okay, I changed my batteries. I'm back. 
but I kind of miss him. He was just there. But he offered me tickets to go to uh, Indiana with him. And now I can't find him because that was basically the last time we spoke to each other. Because then I met and broke up with my ex and went with Jeffrey. Why is the hair so far? Maybe I'm making the lines too big. They are kind of clumped together. Let's see if I can do it. Any different. But I wish I could see him again. Just give him a big old freaking hug, man. And he went to my graduation when I was a kid. I just kind of, I kind of miss my, miss my friend. I've been just kind of depressed lately. Because I miss my friend. Someone that supported me through the abuse of my ex. When I was with my ex, if I did anything, I would get yelled at. If I dropped a dish, I would get yelled at. If I broke a cup, I get yelled at. If I didn't clean, I get yelled at. I did get some freedom. You know, go around and do things on my own. But other than having a job, I wasn't allowed to do much of anything. And if he went somewhere, I had to go with him.
I'll hold off on this part right here until I get the rest of that hair done. But I miss, I miss a friend. There's nothing wrong with missing a friend. It is just weird that I'm having dreams about him after all this time. I've had a few prior to today. Someone once told me, you're having dreams about someone. It means you're meant to be together. But how is that? What if he's like hurt somewhere or like really really sick That's supposed to be really light right there. Like, really light. It's supposed to look like it, it turns. So, there we go. Now I fixed it. But I kind of, I kind of miss Chris. Why do you think I named my child after him? Of all people, I named my child after my ex-lover. If that's anybody's fantasy. I am doing here. I am just going by what I see. When drawing, there is a lot that you have to do to like get the precision right and
There we go. Maybe the hat goes differently too. <sighs> Comes over this and then around like this. <sighs> you see that turns into a hair. If you look close enough to it. It's like really light and it's hair and her chin goes through the hair right there and then corner of her eye goes through the hair there and then right here this is her other eye and that's the top of her eye eyeball but you gotta put the eyebrows in over the hair or it won't look right and I add little strings of hair in so that it looks like hair and then there's this like dark line going through I'm just gonna put this I know she's supposed to be leaning more so we're gonna lean the Not precise, but you're not supposed to make the drawing precise to someone else's. Get this ears get on my nerves. Absolutely don't know what I'm doing. See how it curves up there, curves. Let's see, bring more of her hair out.
don't know if y'all can see that, but look at that. That and that. Her eyes look like they're infected by something. I'll figure out a different way to make her eyes. Hang on a second. <coughs> I'll do the little bottom here. Mm, little pupil. And the little dot that goes here. So this one is different. This one, she's looking at the camera. So we'll do this here. This doesn't exist in the corner here. little circle there and the little circles right here and then we'll do the little bump right there and when I paint it it's gonna look a lot different get the little nose right here and then her mouth with a little dot right there and see how it takes shape of the little girl What I'm thinking, that black line going through, it's like an umbrella or something, but. It doesn't feel like a rainy scene to me. This is where you do your shading. Sorry everybody, I dropped my camera. It's not listening today. So you do all your shading and erase things that you don't want on there. A couple of lines where you don't need them, but they look good that way. And add the signature. Gotta kind of smear your signature a little. Erase things that you think might not need to be there. I like this right here. I'm gonna like to keep this in here because it makes your hair look all big and poofy. So I'm just gonna cut some of that out. And just. Can 
connect it right here. Bam. Sorry. I think you missed a few things because my camera decided it was going to shut off on me. So, it's wanting to be a butthole. But, that's it. What do y'all think? Maybe I should add a few things to the background? I don't know. But, there's the original drawing and there's mine. I think it looks kind of cute. Original. Mine. Put them side by side. Don't they look kind of the same? Let's see. I think in the background we should do Maybe like maybe she's outside and maybe we need some like stars, moons or something. <sighs> or just some straight lines in the background. Let's just do kinda like like this. Cause she looks a little sad, so we'll just do something like like this. Like it's raining or something. That looks good. What do you think? Like an anime, they have all the raindrops like super long and everywhere. There. And then I will come back in my next video and I will paint it whatever color I want to with my watercolor pens. And I promised you all in my last video that I would show you drawings that I've done in the past. Let me get them. be forewarned. My kids decided to get a hold of them and smear them with their little dirty fingers. So, we're done for that for now. But here's, here's one. They decided to smear it a little, but looks good on your end. And then here's another one. Again, they smeared his face. I'm so upset. I've got this little cutie right here. <laughs> and then I've got her. Now, like I said, if you have anything you want me to draw, just put the anime's name down in the character's name. And I will see what I can do to do it. I repeat, if you want me to draw anything specific <coughs> for you guys to look at me draw, please put in the description the name of the anime and the character so that I could put the character's in name name in and the anime's name in and get the character so that I can draw a picture for you all. Because I can't do it without you guys telling me which one to do. But that's it for my drawing for today. Um, my next video, I will be painting this with my watercolors right here. I don't even know if I'm in my shot, so bear with me here. Here we go. I will be watercoloring this beautiful thing right here.
from uh, in the next video. Hopefully I can get that up tomorrow. And I will be talking to you guys later. Painting with you guys later. And drawing with you guys later. Hit that like button. If you like my video, comment and subscribe. And hit that bell for notifications. Because if you all don't do that, you will not keep me as a subscriber. I mean, you will not keep me if you subscribe. Because if you don't comment, the subscribe do, does not count. And I will talk to you, paint with you later. Bye.